Welcome or welcome back at uh, C Square. In this uh, video clip, we're gonna talk about uh, basic blocks of geometry, uh, and for that reason, I'm gonna click on this uh, geometry app. But first of all, I want you guys to see this is the website geogebra.org, and the app I'm gonna use is this one, Geometry. This is a, a very good app for two dimension geometry, and the first. Uh, element in geometry, the first basic block of geometry is what we call point or basic tool. You see how they call here, call them here. So look at here, I'm going to plot here a point. This is what we call point A. We can plot another point like point B. All right. Let's go to the next uh, basic uh, element of geometry when I'm going to use this tool, which is called a line. I'm going to click on this and you will notice it says here select two points or a position. I'm going to put two points. And there you go. We have a line. This is called line CD or DC. It's okay if you call either way. Of course, I can draw a line through these two points. And that brings me a very important postulate which said that if you have two points, you have a unique line. And that is correct. Now, um, one more thing, all both lines here, you, you notice they have more than two points. They have an infinity of points. Okay, for, for example, all these points are called collinear points. There are points that are on the same line. A, E, B, F, collinear points. C, G, D, collinear points. Then you notice we have another uh, basic tool, which is called a segment. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, construct we're gonna draw a what is called a line segment or just simply a segment and if you notice it's a big difference between a line segment and a line line goes forever in both direction a seg and it doesn't have endpoints a segment is a finite is a part of a line and it has two endpoints in this case the segment has two endpoints j and k let me clean this um, drawing and you need you see we have this undo button here which allows me to clean everything i have here and now i'm gonna draw a ray for that reason i'm gonna click here uh, on more tools and if you scroll down you'll see ray okay so this is a ray you see it's it has something from a line yeah it goes forever but just one way one direction it has an endpoint in this case the endpoint is point a this is ray a b and you have to be careful how you call the rays start from the endpoint and pick another point on that ray in this case point b ray a b now if i'm going to draw another ray like this on ac i have what is called an angle an angle is formed by two rays with the same endpoint, in this case point A, which is nothing else than the vertex. And I can measure this angle using this uh, tool, measure angle, and there you go. I can go this way and you notice this angle here is 32 degrees, okay? And like I said, this is angle A, but you can also call it BAC, or C A B. You notice either way that vertex A is in the middle. B A C or C A B. And now let's take a look a little bit to um, some type of lines. Okay, so let's say I have this line A B. I'm gonna construct what is called a parallel lines. See, these two lines are parallel lines. Okay, let me put one more point on the second lines. Line AB and line CD, they do not intersect. They don't have a common point. Okay. Parallel lines line that do not intersect. Uh, similar, I can put another point somewhere on the plane right here. And I can construct a perpendicular line on line AB. And you see, I'm going to go here, and there you go. I have what is called a perpendicular line. Line CD is perpendicular on line AB. 
and of course I'm gonna try to measure an angle here uh, I'm gonna go here angle and I'm gonna measure the angle a D C and that is 90 degree whenever you have two perpendicular line the angle is 90 degree and usually we use a box there to show that property um, I'm gonna stop here with these two dimensional geometry please come back for three dimensional geometry we're gonna see some vocabulary there also thank you